<laughs> man, like, you know the man, man. How are you, bro? Yes, Mitch. Yes, how are you, my Fingers friend? Fingers in mouths, lips on fingers. Yeah, how are you doing? All this week. I'm good, man. How are you? Very good. Went to the NFL game. Yeah. As did you. Um, it's fun. As did you have get your hats, yeah? NFL hats. Come on. And guess what? What? Did you know that for every one human, there is 200 million insects? 200 million. Outnumbered. I knew there was a lot more, but not 200 million. Also, is an insect an animal? Anyway, welcome to Take A Bow. This is the show where we get the funniest stuff on the World Wide Web. We package it, we deliver it straight to you. Oh Craig God. Mitch, Steve the man with the hurt head. Uh, let's go in with some comments straight away. First one comes from Dean Turner and he said, LOL, Leicester are definitely getting top four. What are you talking about? Against Man United, Brennan got his tactics wrong. Same against Chelsea. We're gonna draw a win against Liverpool and I feel confident about that. Hmm. Moment of silence oh no. for Dean Turner. Cause you lost. Because you lost. Uh, Tay K1 said, uh, Mitch is hate for Leicester is mad, man. Still but he came third in a two horse race. Yeah. I am. Yeah. But I haven't got hate for Leicester. We need to make this very, very, very clear. I haven't got hate for Leicester. I said this last week. Mm -hmm. My hate was for all of the media and the pundits that are just building up to be something I don't believe they're going to be. That's it. But I can be wrong. If I'm wrong, then I'll just hold my hands up and say I was wrong. Nigelad246 says, I remember when Mitch used to be cussing Liverpool every week about how trash they were and how Spurs were going to win trophies. Now look, getting washed 7-2 at home to Bayern and everyone wants out of Spurs. Hey, not everyone wants out of Spurs, right? Who don't? And Don Bele, he just got here. <laughs> he just got here. He wants to leave. Um, exactly. No, yeah, I mean, I was on to Liverpool, but I was bad, isn't it? And Liverpool were poor at that time when I was on to Liverpool. Remember, Phil Fair has been going for a while now, hasn't it? You know what's crazy? What? Ah, oh, and I love you, man. I love you. But it's like, Spurs has done you no favours because it's like, it's open season. So one thing I well, would, what would say... You prefer? What would you prefer though? Can I just, before oh. I cut you off, what would you prefer? A fan to just back their team no matter what and always be vocal and always be like supporting their team yeah. or be like poet? Uh, White Eagle 456 said, Craig's defends his team till the end like a true fan, no matter how bad it gets. See? <laughs> this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. What? They, look, Steve, they'll cuss you if you don't, if you're not a real fan yeah. and back your team. And then when you don't back your team, they cuss you and say, oh, you're not there for your team. You I think what it is, bro, is the banter, as you called it, that you give to the other teams. So now when your team's why, why doing it, oh, you can, you can, you can, but now it's just like, ah, oh, the team has lost 7 2. Got, got beat by Brighton. Into the first post, and it comes from Patrick Davison on Twitter, and he said, Longstaff brothers, beware. There will be lots of requests and a lot of opportunities after yesterday. Don't say yes to every figure. There's a picture of the Neville brothers sucking lollipops. Now, bro, see when we talk about the funniest stuff on the internet, this is a top yes. quality post. Bro, this is right at the top bin. Gary Neville. Yeah. If you add this to the Valencia run. Yeah. His history is becoming. But do you know what he'll do? Go on. He'll just show you his medals. Let's talk oh. about long staff. So oh, now that's even crazy. Bro, I knew there was one long staff in the middle, right? Yes, yes, yes. I didn't know there was brothers. Yeah, that, Every that, time I saw a long staff, I just thought it was the same player. Well, that happened with me with the guys from um, Norwich. Remember when I said the guys from Norwich, they had the two people on the pitch. But like, were they playing the same position? No. These two are both playing no, same They were playing mid. wing, they were both playing. So I thought okay, they were wing, okay, wings, yeah. yeah. But anyway, right. When I saw him score, I thought, hang on. I swear Longstaff was, was tall. Yeah. Then I said, hang on, he had blonde hair. Then I see this, so this little ginger scolzy looking kid. Yeah. I see him running towards the corner, celebrating like he'd been there for years, by the way. Um, Did you see the finish? Yeah, great finish. Great finish. To beat David De Gea from that yeah. far out. And I rate Newcastle. Stick on Man United. Mm. Scholzka has come out and he has said he's still happy he got rid of Lukaku. Do you believe him? No. They can't score goals. And I think, what, didn't he get something like 20 goals? Like, oh, it's mad. Listen, it's Lukaku mad. is a proven goal scorer, but the fans didn't appreciate him. Mm -hmm. It looked like Oli didn't appreciate him. He wasn't playing him up top. And when he did play him, which was rarely, he played him on wide last season. And he wasn't happy. So I think it made sense for him to go. Yeah, 100%. Now Man United are doing what they always did. When they got rid of Jose Mourinho, egg on their face. Yeah. Got rid of Lukaku. Egg on their face. That's quite a bit. Their players are better than Newcastle's players. Even with Pogba not in the side, their players on paper are yeah. better than Newcastle's players. Why are they losing? Why can't they even get a goal, Steven? Yeah, because it's, it's the pr 
pressure from the fans, but they should be able to deal well, with away it. Away from home, there's def barely any of their fans yeah, away no, from no, home. They, they, Old Trafford's one thing. You're when you're never, under pressure, you don't want to play at home. You're never away from home with the internet now, bro. <laughs> hey, shout out Longstaff brothers, though, man. And what, what that feeling must be like, like, imagine you and, and your older brother mm -hmm. playing alongside each other for, like, West Ham. Imagine that, like, centre mid. Well, <sighs> that's to crazy. be honest with you, he, 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 his touch is like a tackle, so I mean, in next to each other, I'd be yeah, angry. Bodybuilding. <laughs> nah, he's good, he's good. Works stick hard. To the deadlift. He's, a, he's a hard worker, my bro. That's what yeah, he does. Yeah, he scored, he scored eight goals in four games this season. He's on fire. Was bro. he playing ball? Yeah, he's playing. Yeah. On to the next post, and it comes from uh, Vieira Paddy. And uh, Vieira Paddy said, Brighton are beating Spurs 3 0, and Lewis Dunk just put Harry Kane in a rear naked choke. I love this game. Bro, did you see that? <laughs> did, you, did you actually see that? It was a mad thing. He kind of like, Harry Kane tried to run and then he went like, <clears throat> and then chucked him. Mitch, I think we. Uh, Mitch, Mitch. I don't want to laugh through this uh, post. Go on, do whatever you have Because to do. your team is in dire straits and they tried, to bring, they tried to bring Dyer back yeah. into the team and he was awful. I've been telling you, right? <laughs> Ericsson was The last was worse. three years, yeah. your team are on the decline and you did not have it. You well, told me, and they have been. Why, why, so why, said, why didn't I have it? Um, I don't know From a you, logical point of view, why didn't no, I have because, it? Because uh, we got to a Champions League final. Like, that doesn't yeah. spell, in my eyes, yeah. or most people's eyes, that doesn't spell a decline. I know what you're thinking, I know what you're saying, but I could see that the players that we all said three years ago that would improve, and then we'd like being men and the experiences yeah. of, of losing to Leicester and losing that to uh, uh, other teams and whatnot mm. would hold them in good stead. It's now got to that sort of third year where it's like, let's put everything into fruition. I don't know what's happened, bro. Third year, what do you mean? So from when I said, like from when, oh. yeah, it's like this. All right. Well, I disagree with you. This is what I think. I think there's been an incline. So I think since Poch came, they've been going like this, trying to build towards something, right? And I think the climax of Poch's five-year project was that Champions League final, and it was all or nothing in that final. And they had to win it for this project that he's had over the last five years to be a success. They didn't win it, win it, sorry. They didn't win it, they lost 2-0. And then now it's gone from, that was it, you were near the summit to win the, the highest prize in club football. You didn't win it, and now it's... But I think now players are turning around after five years and going, Poch, five years ago, when we lost the, the title to Leicester. Was that with five years? Yeah, yeah, you told me, don't worry, believe in this. Mm -hmm. You know, there's going to be brighter days ahead. Five years are gone, still ain't won nothing, still ain't earned a lot of money. Don't believe in this no more. So That's it. You, you, gave me, you gave me promises, false promises, basically. I think the Champions League for you lot was quite lucky. I, don't, I think that come a bit early for him. Yeah. The two centre halves that start for us, Alden Road and Vertonga, out of contracts at the end of the season. Yeah. So they've no reason to really perform as far as I see it. They should be, because they're supposed to be professionals, but it looks like they're not. And they're in the shot window. So. Our right back, Serge Aurier, was going to leave in the summer, didn't want to be there, we didn't want him, and he's ended up staying. Danny Rose, hold on, the left back was apparently going to leave and was spotted at Watford's training ground, and he ended up staying. So your back, starting back four, your defence, mm -hmm. that's supposed to hold the team together, all of them are not even, not, their head's not even in the, the game right defense, now. Before you come defence, I've said this, you did say Serge Oreo, you was happy when you got him in the team ahead of Walsh. You was quite happy to let Walsh go because yeah. Serge Oreo, younger. Paid for PSG. It's not worked out, no, right? It's not, no, it hasn't. It's been These are the things I have to come back to because you said some stuff and it's like... Argh. You're making a point like, You've never said something mm -hmm. and it hasn't come back to everyone does that as football fans. Some just do it more than others. I think Poch just got to drop all the players that are just not, heads not in it. Wow. And play the players that aren't as good, but we know they got long-term contracts and they're actually at the club for, a, what, what do you think of that? I don't know. <sighs> I love it. <laughs> anyway, let's come off that and give Brighton their props. Cause I feel like oh, all we've done up is, Brighton, all we've done, cause we were there last week. Yeah. Big up Connolly. Neil um, Mope did his thing, Neil and we sat thing. down with him. Yeah, You'll see so. that, that'll be coming soon. Yeah. Spurs fans, let us know in the comments below, man. How are you feeling? Are you are you in meltdown mode, or are you just upset? Let us know, man. Man United and Spurs are in the same place and right now. football fans, are we happy that Spurs are finally getting their come up and stuff? Yeah, Why does everyone want Spurs to do? <laughs> I don't, I don't, as, as a team that never even won anything, I don't understand why everyone wants Spurs to like kind of lose. 
Next one comes from School for Football. Uh, Adama Traore scored more goals in Wolves win against Man City two than his previous 72 Premier League appearances combined. He only had one in that time. No time like the present. Both goals were the same as well, boy. Counter attack. Counter attack. Slotted it home. Yeah. Pace. These are not easy finishes when you're no under way. pressure and you've got a keeper like Edison, Edison that's quick out, making himself big to keep the composure to slot it. Especially the second one as well in the, what was it, like the 94th minute or something like. Mm, yeah, yeah. But um, he could end up being a, a striker, you know. Uh, Jimenez was uh, sick as well. That's the, the that's, I was just about to say. Yeah, that know. piece of skill he did on that counter yeah, was yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. At, what, at full pace? Yeah. Doing like, that with your feet? Then picking out the pass. Those I love sort of that things stuff. Can get you moves, you know. But Man City can take some confidence from the fact that Liverpool still don't look 100, even though they're unbeaten. But it doesn't look good. Eight when points. you just get over the line, ain't that the stuff of championship-winning teams as well, though? You know what I mean? If you do it in, I'd say the final ten games of the season, yeah. But if you're if you're doing it now, it means it's papering over cracks that other teams might exploit mm -hmm. down the line. Mm -hmm. Like a 95th minute penalty, bro, is just it's just, it's just pure jam. Again, I like go back to, and talk about the Premier League over the years. Uh, Arsenal United, and, and let me know, give me a zoop zoop if you're with me. You can only lose one game in a season. You can only really lose one game now. So as long so, as you don't draw a lot, you've got to win. Man City now, hmm. I'm going to say it now, Man City now have to win Every, all their games. All the games. All right, next one comes from Andrew Cesar, and he says, Liverpool not winning at home and get a soft penalty in stoppage time? Never. Being sarcastic. I've got to ask you, do you think that was a penalty? Yeah. Clumsy. Clumsy. You don't think it was soft? Soft? It was soft. Clumsy, and... It was clumsy, as but a it defender, was... As a defender, um, I'd be really, really, really upset with myself. I prefer that the ref actually had the... Uh, Kahunas, uh, big up Troy Dean, he was with him this week, but yeah. um, you had the Kahunas to give that decision, bro, because it's very, very, very clumsy, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I'm not mad at the ref. Uh, did Mane go down a bit easy? Yeah. But would I have been calling out for him if I was the manager to go down easy? Would I have been calling out to my defender to don't touch him? You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. Everything you would have said, or well, not wanted, happened. They've got two teams who are really great right now and you'd expect them to just roll both these teams over, but could you see them slipping maybe at one of these two teams? Possibly, I could definitely, yeah, I could, especially Man United. Mm. Man United are going to step it up for that game, but even if they do get through these next two games, it's a possibility that they really do then run out of juice because they're going to have to give it their all for, and, these, two, for yeah. these next two games. And not only that... Um, Champions League games in between and stuff Champions as well. Champions League games in between as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, not only that, their strikers, the Firminos, the, the Mane's, they do so much running back, which we all uh, praise them for. But that's got to over the course of the season. Yeah, bro. That's gonna, yeah. And Strikers doing ain't doing training and, for that, and they're playing more games because they got to play two games in December, don't they? Just, yes. So the cup, cup. Yeah, yeah. So it's gonna be a tough season for them. Talk about Madders quickly. Uh, got a great goal against great Spurs. Goal. Another great goal against Liverpool. Yeah. He's scoring against the big six now as yeah. well. Taking. It looks like he's taking the reins of Vardy as the. Big game player now. But Vardy's still doing his thing. No, he um, is. Which but big I up mean, Vardy. Madders is on form. He's on form. Again, you Red know me, bro. You know me. I want to see this for another three years. At least. Uh, ESPN FC have said uh, Chelsea's future looks bright. Callum Hudson Odoi, 18 years old. Reese James, 19 years old. Mason Mount, 20 years old. Christian Pulisic, 21 years old. Tammy Abraham, 22 years of age. Bro. First of all, I want to big up um, Tamori. Because I was with him yesterday. He has Ooh. improved immensely and so yeah. quick. He could end up being the best. Meaning, not at the Chelsea lot. I'm giving in two years, he could be England's best centre back. Yeah. He could be one of the world's best centre back. That's how quick he's learning, yeah. and his pace is so ridiculous, and his Crazy. strength so ridiculous. Defending's good, one-on-one yeah. -on -one situations, positioning-wise, and all that. That's going to come with games playing against the likes of Aguero and that. Um, so yeah, he's the one for me that it's like, okay, don't sleep on this guy. Obviously, Tammy's doing his thing. Killing it. Doing his thing. Mason's doing his Mason thing. Mason is taking to the Premier League like a duck to water. Trust he's, me. He's just a duck really right like right water. Rich James, he, bro. He, he's going to take the yes. skipper yeah. out of the yeah. team. Yeah. As for the he's 100%. done that. Did you think they would click this quick? No. I mean, bro, look, look, look. This is again, I'm holding my hands up. At the beginning mm. of the season, I said, this is a, it's a Frank Lampard coming in. It's a car crash. 
He's proved me wrong so far. It's not the end of the season, it's still early, but he's they're smashing it. They got a full of confidence. He's got a Champions League winning manager as his assistant now, Jody Morris. He's won Champions League yeah. at youth level. Yeah. Um, but bro, I'll be honest he's with you. He's killing it, bro. They're Frank, playing sick football as well. Frank's come in and I almost believe like he's managed for years. All right. Old McDonald had a farm. He he And on that farm, he had a challenge. E I E I O. I challenged Mitch, who is a dog. You thought I was gonna say something else. Old MacDonald had a challenge. E-I-E-I-O. I'm dedicating that one to my little girl Erin. That's her favorite song at the moment. Why are you singing to your daughter with my name in it? Oh no, I remixed it. You said that to, everyone said I had to remix it. No, I'm I know, I know, but you said that song's her favorite song. No, no, not that version. <laughs> All right, anyway, challenge time. Look, we've made it to the second international break of the season with only one undefeated team remaining, obviously Liverpool. To mark how quickly the 2019-20 campaign is flying by, we're going to be tested to name the players who haven't missed a minute of Premier League football so far this season. Okay, yeah. Ready? Ready, ready. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, hey. rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Hey. hey, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh my God. I still win. Uh, all right, I'm going to ask you first, Steve-O Music. Uh, Steve-O, which French West Ham player has played every minute of the Premier League season so far? 10, 9, 8, 7. That's correct. Thank you. First French player that came to the end. Great. Yes. Which Belgian player has played every minute of the Premier League season so far for Tottenham? Toby Alderweireld. All right, Steve-O, it's 1-1. One, one. Uh, which Dutch Bournemouth player has played every minute of the Premier League season so far? 10, 9, wow. Mm. 8, 7, 6, is it, is it Akai? 5, Nathan Aki. Yeah. yeah, I'll give you that, it's cool. Akai, I don't know what Akai is. And that, Akai? Is that something you put in a bowl of, bowl of cereal? Great. Yeah. Which English Ashton Villa midfielder yeah. has played every minute of the Premier League season so far? English Aston. Ten. Nine. Jack Grealish? Uh, which English Aston City player has played every minute of the Premier League season so far? Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Madison. It's Jamie Vardy. It's Jamie Vardy. It weren't Madders, man. I know he's been going Madders, but it weren't Madders. Which Colombian Everton player has played every minute of the Premier League season so far? Colombian Everton. 10, 9. Oh, there's only one. Yerry Mina. Which English Man United player has played every minute of the Premier League season so far? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Harry Maguire. Bare English plays in that Man United team. Yeah, it's Harry Maguire. Craig. Yes. Which English yeah. Liverpool player oh, this, this is just has played question. every minute of the Premier League season so far? Ten. This is a trick. Nine. Eight. Seven. <laughs> six. It's the birth. Oh, it ruined my flip. Is it? It's the birthday boy. Is it Trent Alexander Arnold? Yes! Finally a W. Trent, I love you, bro. All right, that's it. End of the show. It has been terrific. There's been drama all over it. Man City lost, Spurs lost, Man United lost. No one can call this league apart from Liverpool. Um, if you've enjoyed the show, make sure you drop the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new or if you're old but have just been a pagan. Subscribe. Um, hit Cuss the notification button. Mitch in the comments about Spurs. We can't let Spurs have it this easy. So I'm cuss, sorry. Cast me. Cast me. There go ahead. Go. I just want comments. Cast. And uh, we'll see you next week. Boom, come, come. <laughs>